Hello, Adam Rayner, Slingshot World TV, and this is a major coup for us. I've come all the way to Sheffield a day early for the shoot because this is the home of Pro Shot UK, the makers of, well, the finest metal catapults, I think, on the entire planet. Uh, just check out this room. How much better is this than a shed with a bandsaw? This is a full-blown tool room. What you're about to see in the, uh, the other room where they do the castings, literally, has just got me blown away. These folks are fourth generation, um, five years just to do an apprenticeship to learn how to do this stuff a million years ago. Gosh, uh, the people they work for, everyone from royalty to uh, sending a horribly expensive Japanese uh, conservatory parts off to the Far East. All that and slingshots around the world. Let's go and look at how they're cast. That's a grinding machine. <laughs> <laughs> Just using the very last little bit of inertia there. No, yes, no. we've uh, come on through to uh, the finishing area here. And, um, well, just check out all of these catapults. Nestling out of sight just around there is... Uh, Mr. G. Muller. Man from... This is Fest Germany, his design. Awesome. Out here, another model of catapult. This is the spot where uh, all the um, little rough bits are finished off. And the really cool thing about all these is that no two are absolutely identical. Because although they are mass produced, they are still very much handmade, hand finished. You're looking at a stack of pure, non recycled. Aluminium ingots, because these guys do not use recycled aluminium. Zinc and lead, yes, they'll use recycled, but not alley. The science of aluminium casting is a whole load more complicated than I had any idea of, and involves all sorts of complex things. But the big deal, of course, with aluminium is that it takes a serious amount of electricity. Are they electric, Peter? Are they electric, your, your furnaces? Yes. They're gas, a serious amount of electricity to make it, you fool, yes. Bauxite, they make aluminium in places where electricity is cheap. But this is a company that's cooking on gas. You're looking at, well, it's more than 20 grams worth of furnace. And over there is another more than 20 grams worth of furnace. And over there is, yeah, you get the idea. There are five, five in here. And I am one lucky, privileged fat journalist. These guys on a Friday normally aren't, uh, working quite like this but just for slingshot world magazine these lovely people have let me in they've even got a tony laboring away at the other end of the uh, foundry here just so that we can go and have a look at him look at all that aluminium oh man makes my thumbs itch aluminium comes in lots of different grades you might notice a different color marking on the end of the ingots there whether it's for food service or say the oil industry, they have different metallurgical requirements. And one really cool thing about Charles H. Howard and Sons, of which Pro Shot is just a, a piece, is that they adhere to ISO 9001, as do your catapults. Okay, we're down the uh, slightly noisier end of the foundry now, where the alkaline phenolic sand casting is going on. It's also known as air set. And there is uh, acid and resin included with this sand. They've got a machine to recycle it as well. The darkest sand in these molds has been used before. Paler sand. 
Well, that's the fresh stuff. And over here, a bunch of PPMGs ready-made. Let's go around and uh, meet Tony. See how this is actually done. This is so cool. Right, well, we're uh, now right at the workstation where Tony's busy making PPMGs. Just want to say a huge thank you, mate, for being here on a Friday, Giza. No problem, it's uh, a whole special shift just for us. So, tell us about this process. How long is each mould taking? Up to five minutes, I said. And uh, that machine you stood in front of, you can set it for five, ten, or twenty minutes, yeah, I gather. different settings on here, for speed. And uh, I'm an expert now because I spoke to Pete, but it's about the air temperature, the amount of acid, the yeah, amount of acid and resin. and resin in there because this makes ultra precise. So you've got your positive there. What happens now? You put a bit of well, mold put release. Part, part of the on. Okay. Stop sand sticking to it. And then you apply the sand. Then the sand goes on. All right. Well, let's watch you do it, Giza. Right, no Lovely. Thanks, sir. This is, of course, the uh, legendary PPMG pocket poacher mega grip. This is my PPMG, there are many like it, but this one is mine. My PPMG is my best friend, it is my life. I must master it as I must master my life. Without me, my PPMG is useless. Without my PPMG, I am useless. I must find my PPMG true. I must shoot straighter than my competitor is trying to beat me. Yeah, baby. We'll be seeing a lot of these at the shoot. That man made that look so bloody easy. Look at that, awesome. Then off it goes off the rollers. Right, having come round the rollers, this is the next bit that happens. Do it to it, Tony. There we go. Says PPSG on there, you've turned it over. Lovely, yep. Oh look at the delicacy with it. Oh mate. Geez, oh, lovely. Those five minutes now, the other one will be setting, yes? Yes, that will be setting. Excellent. Tony, thank you so much. Brilliant. He's Top man, thank you, sir. Wow. Final well, process is uh, a little bit of a clean out. Makes the mould absolutely crisply perfect. Where's it going with that? There we go. Cheers, Tone. Awesome. Right. Once again, note the uh, two colours of sand. I've invested heavily in some serious environmental kit here. And that little filtery bit going in, that catches the yucky bit. I was told there are some uh, serious metallurgical reasons for, I think, silica. I think silica in the... Silicon, that catches yeah. the silicon. Yes. Yes. And this is serious science. This is Adam Rayner for Slingshot World TV at the hub of UK Catapultry's manufacturing excellence here in Sheffield. Literally the fourth generation of people involved in uh, this foundry casting business. The very day before the shoot in Sheffield. I feel so absolutely privileged. I want to wrap up a massive thank you to Peter Hogan and the guys here at Pro Shop, Tony. All the other folks have made my visit so very, very warm and welcoming. Of course, once you've made the metal, you need to cast it. So there's Tony 
getting a bloody great ladle of very hot aluminium, oh my gosh. This is so cool. Feeling so very, very hot. Peter did point out, mate, you, you, you just gotta see this happen. Oh, a little scary, closer to the melted metal. Do you know what? That's, that just reminds me of those videos that you see online and it says the most satisfying video in the world. Peter, you absolutely have never tired in your entire life of watching aluminium solidify. I'm sorry ladies and gentlemen, I just missed that. Peter himself said, no, you need to catch this. Well, as you look here, you see how that there is going to sink in. So what's happening is that metal going into the gasket, Mr. Solid. Feeding the casket. So that's what he's doing. So you end up with a vortex with the thing spinning. So it spins, pulls the metal in, creates all the any dross which it collects in the centre. Yeah. It then starts to shrink back. Okay. And what happens is that force is in tension there, yeah. and it's shrunk away, and that then feeds back. Right, okay, I understand. That, that's, that's part of the skill part of knowing how big to make that to be clear there. I understand. That's a bit of a mathematical calculation to come in, yeah. wait for the gas in, the volume of the gas in, the style of material that it's going to be made in, yeah. the temperature that it's going to be cast at. There's a lot of things that are going to be made in. That's it. Straight out, straight out, and down, and go to that Moment of truth. the time I saw my wife standing in a pond in Wellingtons. There is a childlike delight, this man is just smiling, an absolute, oh, hey, it's what drives you. There is something about the moment when the metal goes solid that really is in your spirit, it's in the very core of your soul. Peter Hogan, ladies and gentlemen, aristocracy. Right at the end of filming, I learned the coolest thing about the man, absolutely. He loves watching the metal turn solid. This is Adam Rayner finally signing out for Slingshot World. Enormously grateful, absolutely thrilled with the stench of aluminium foundry in his nostrils.